loves. Um, welcome back. When you don't do this regularly, you kind of get nervous. You kind of feel awkward. Hello, I'm back and more awkward than ever. Hello, I've missed you guys. Thank you for bearing with me whilst I just took a little bit of a break. So, what have I been up to in the past few weeks? Um, basically guys, the desire to get washi tapes made got to a point where I was like, why am I not just doing this? I have such a bad habit of trying to talk myself out of doing something. So I started sort of putting together some washi tape designs and I was making myself feel like really, really shitty because obviously it's going to be expensive to get done. And I was like, hmm, how am I going to afford to do this? And I was limiting myself to like two or three designs. And then I spoke to a couple of small business friends and they were like, Ellis, why don't you just do a Kickstarter? And I was like, why don't I just do a Kickstarter? Like, why? So my last Kickstarter was a year ago, so I think, yeah, probably is a good time to do a Kickstarter. So for the past couple of weeks, that's what I've been working on. And this week is like the last final sort of steps of creating some graphics for it and just finalising all of the details and the, the nitty gritty putting together prices and things. I've been working on the designs mainly. So now, this week, I really want to sort of publish my project for Kickstarter to approve, ready to launch on Monday, which is kind of, I'm hoping this video will go out on Monday as well, like alongside it. So if you're liking the tapes that you see in the studio vlog, um, feel free to go check the Kickstarter out where there's gonna be, at the moment, eight different designs have been put forward and they're obviously like stretch goals so that we can work towards unlocking each design. Um, but yeah, welcome back to the studio vlogs. Guys, I have missed you. And that is what we're going to be up to mainly in this vlog, along with some other little bits and pieces that I've been up to in the background, but mainly washi tapes. And I'm very excited, so um, let's go. So this is the graphic that I have put together for my patrons just now, just posted it. So these are all of the designs that I'm going to put forward. Um, so there's the Woodland Animals Rainbow Pencil um, Alice in Wonderland here. These blue leaves and foliage, pastel witch, um, pink squiggles, Mr. Pig, obviously Mr. Pig is in there. And then we've got some ocean life ones down here too. So, yeah, I've just posted that on Patreon and thank you if you have commented on that post. It means a lot. And now I'm going to go get some lunch so that I can come back afterwards and get my head around all of the pricing and things. <laughs> The worst bit, in my opinion, is working out pricing and pledges and rewards and bits, but it's also exciting at the same time. I think this one might be my favourite, but I like this one too. In fact, I love all of them, but mm, picking a favourite's hard. I really like the woodland animals, though, in this one. And Mr Pig. Obviously, Mr Pig. So today I have finished putting together my Kickstarter campaign. So I've done all of the graphics and things and typed everything out. Uh, I've done as much as I can and I'm just actually passing it on to some small business friends so they can read it for me and see if there's anything 
that I've missed. It's very good. I love the small business community. You know who you are, guys. The small business buzzies. Um, and now, well, I'm going to go clean my bathroom because I haven't done that yet. I was meant to do it a couple of days ago and I still haven't done it. Um, and then I started this drawing of Pinky the other day. Does anybody else have Pinky on Animal Crossing? Because Pinky is one of my favourite characters. Walt is my number one guy, but um, Pinky is a very close second. This morning I managed to finally, finally swap Olaf for Alfonso. Me and Olaf never gelled, which is a real shame because I love the name Olaf, but Olaf was quite rude. He was quite a rude resident. Alfonso, though, is taking his place. Um, but I thought I would just draw a little Pinky. I've sketched her out. Um, I just, yeah, I just need to find some time this evening, I think, to fill her out a little bit. Finally finished this candle and James has given it a clean up for me so I can put my badge backings in there now. So this little area here, I got a new trolley. My patrons will have seen this already. Um, but this is Bernard the Badge Press as well. I eventually invested in a badge press and I love it. Um, so, I've got all of my badge making components in these jars. Had a big clear out of um, and an organise of stuff over the last few weeks. And I've also been making my own badges a lot more. So, um, this one, if you are a patron, you'll have got this in your um, June box. There's some chunky zebras. It's one of my friend Leanne's favourites. <laughs> I also did um, a few skelly grows. And, and there's some Animal Crossing ones. This one's Walt. Walt is my favourite Animal Crossing's character. Uh, I've restocked some old designs. Like my red panda. And then there's a new panda here. This was from the art challenge I did with my patrons last month. So that's him. There's a few bits of fan art and things in here, and um, this one as well, Wolfie. Some Halloween ones because, you know, it's got to be Halloween all year round in my house somehow. Oh, there's some, some of these little guys. So yeah, I really love making my own badges, I just really love the freedom of it. Yes, very much, I very much enjoy doing it. Just got back from walking the dogs and my hair has gone. So hello guys, um, this week I have been working on the Kickstarter pretty flat out actually and I managed to get everything done so um, here's my planner. I got this, it might have been at the end of last year but I still hadn't used it for anything but I thought it would be a really good planner for Kickstarter stuff. It's also got these pockets in it which if you're a stationary nerd like me you love a good pocket in a planner. But I've been writing everything down. Um, there's lots and lots of different rewards. So this is my fourth Kickstarter. If you're new to Kickstarter and you haven't got a clue what I'm going on about, it's a really popular platform where people can go and pledge for products before they've come out and then you get the product at the end of it. And you only get charged if the campaign is successful as well, so it's pretty risk-free too. I like to support my friends on Kickstarter. I am currently pledging for some washi tapes myself from my lovely and beautiful friend Lula Rocks. And Novel Menagerie is also bringing out some enamel pins, so I pledge for those as well because products can be really expensive for a small business to fund themselves so Kickstarter is a really awesome website to go to. I'm a big fan of Kickstarter, I love it and this is my fourth one now so taking everything that I've learned from my first three and wanting to do things better. There's more rewards this time, there's more options, there's add-on vinyl salty stickers as well so you know we love a bit of pink salt around here don't we? This campaign is going to run for three weeks, not four, so it's a little bit shorter. 
I spent a lot longer this time on things like graphics and images for Instagram and actual stories. I can be so lazy when it comes to stories and doing like um, a proper put together thing. Like I'm so lazy so this time around I wanted to make it better. And then I sent it to a couple of small business friends to like proofread it because it's one of them things where you look at it for so long and you don't notice any spelling mistakes or grammar and anything like that. You know, and you just stare at something for ages and it's you, you become numb to it. You become just like, what? So it's all ready to go. I'm launching on the 15th of June. So it's all ready to go and I just thought I'd give myself a few days beforehand to do the bits and pieces so it's ready to go and there will be a link in the description bar down below if you want to go and check it out there is eight different washi tape designs to unlock so i'm very excited for them let's see how this campaign does even if you just go and check it out thank you for doing that it means a lot so now i started coloring in pinky yesterday from animal crossing and i'm gonna go and finish pinky and then make some stickers that's what i'm gonna do